It is a matter of time. One Kwaso sent urgent message speaks on joining Tinubu's government. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. So Nigerians can understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Rabi Yumusa Kwanikwesu, the presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, in the 2023 election, has responded to rumors suggesting that he intends to join the All Progressive Congress APC government. In an interview with BBC Aosa, Kwanikwesu stated that only time will reveal whether or not he will join the current government. Addressing allegations that he had reached an agreement with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu prior to the Supreme Court judgment that restrained Governor Haba Kabiri Yusuf's victory, Kwanikwesu categorically denied any such agreement. He emphasized that there had been no agreement with anyone and that the Supreme Court judge, judges had simply made the right decision based on the facts. He further clarified that he had played an active role in the establishment of the APC and had been deeply involved in subsequent struggles. Kwan Kwasu urged people to recognize that falsehood have a limited lifespan and that despite the marginalization of certain individuals, the judges had acted in accordance with justice. Why Kwan Kwasu refuted any pre-existing agreement with Tinubu on the APC, he expressed the NNPP's willingness to collaborate with the ruling party's government when necessary. He underscored that there was no abnormality between the parties as such had its own political platform and they would work together where it serves the best interests of the nation. In, the, in essence, Gwen Kwasu's response to the rumors of his potential involvement in the APC government was that only time would provide the answer. He denied making any agreement with Tinubu and emphasized that the Supreme Court judges had rendered their decision based on the merits of the case. The NNPP, while maintaining its unique party, identity remained open to cooperate with the ruling party's government as the need arose. It is important to note that Kwan Kwasu's statement reflects his current position and intentions. However, political dynamics are subject to change and the future course of events can be influenced by a more multitude of factors. As such, the ultimate outcome regarding Kwan Kwasu's potential involvement in the ABC government remains uncertain and uh, contingent on various variables that will unfold over time. In another news headline, shockingly, APC government takes Nigerians by surprise Defend better, Edo. See what they said that got people talking. Governors affiliated with the All Progressive Congress APC have collectively ascertained that the accusations against the suspend Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, better, Edo, remain as mere allegations. The chairman of the APC Governors Forum, Governor Hopu Zodema, Convey this standpoint at the conclusion of a meeting held at the Imo Governor's Lodge in Abuja on Wednesday. Governor Zodima underscored that President Bola Tinubu, demonstrating prudence, has initiated an investigation into the matter. So he urged patients from the public, emphasizing that rushing to conclusions before the investigations had come is counterproductive. In its statement, Uzodima acknowledged the imperfection of human judgment, asserting that only God is flawless. 
responding to questions from journalists regarding whether the governor discussed the minister's issue during their meeting. Uzanima addressed the gravity of the situation and he reiterated, the only perfect being we have observed and not noticed is the Almighty God. The functions of government encouraging good things and good appointees and discouraging bad things and bad appointees. Alighting the gravity of the allegations, Uzadima stressed that the matter is currently under investigation and the president's wisdom detects that the final decision will be made after the completion of the investigative process. So he urged the public not to succumb to haste conclusions and to exercise patience during his period of uncertainty. Niger News has reported that Better Edu is currently under investigation by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, based on President Tinubu's directive. The allegations against the suspended minister involved the mismanagement of public funds, totaling approximately 535 million naira, embarked as a grant to support impoverished Nigerians in, select, in selected states. This development has drawn public attention and raised concerns about transparency and accountability in the administration of public funds, particularly those intended for uh, poverty alleviation programs. The APC governors, through their chairman, have opted for a cautious approach urging citizens to withdraw a judgment until the investigative process is complete. Nigeria, my country. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by.